What's up guys, today we're going to see how to use DD for backup and cloning purposes. Now you can get DD for Windows and Mac OS as well, but I believe every Linux distro comes with it pre-installed, so we're going to go ahead and proceed here with Slackware 15, and let's begin. So we're going to be cloning this USB, which is my Linux boot USB into our hard drive and then later on we're going to be cloning it to another USB just to prove that the DD in fact works. So let's begin. Alright so I'm going to start by plugging this USB here into my computer. Then we want to go ahead and elevate our privileges here in the terminal to root privileges. There we go. And let's do fdisk list to see the available disks. So there we have it. These are all of our disks. You can see my SSD is the first one over here. And then I have my secondary disk. And this is the USB over here. And you can tell by the amount of gigabytes in it. You can see it's a 16 gig USB. And that's the one we want to clone. Now this is very important when doing cloning or backups because you want to make sure you got the right partitions in there. Otherwise, you could run into some troubles later or you could end up wiping out a disk that you don't want to wipe out. So now that we know it's slash dev slash sdb, we can go ahead and copy that. And let me cd into a proper directory here. So I'm in my home directory. Let's just do this on documents. And I'm going to go ahead and do dd. Now the if parameter is the in file parameter so this is where we're going to paste the disk we want to backup or clone then we want to do the out file now the out file you can put the whole directory which is what i'm going to do so slash home slash xf4 and the name of the file so i'm going to call this slack boot dot image and one final thing we could do is we could do a status equals progress. And this command here is gonna go ahead and clone that USB into the slackboot.image file so we can have a backup in case we lose that USB. So yeah, let's hit it. All right, so we just finished cloning the USB into an image. Let me go ahead and take a look at it there we go this is the slack boot image so now let me unplug the USB and now I'm gonna plug in this USB and we're going to clone the image back to this USB so I have two USBs containing the same image and when you do this ideally you want to keep the USBs the same size so these are both 16 gigs there we go once again, I'm going to do fdisk hyphen L just so that we're sure we got the right partition name here. So it's slash dev slash sdb. You can see it's 16 gigs as well. And now let's run the command to clone the image from our hard drive into the USB. Note that this is really good to keep a backup on your hard drive as well. That way, if you ever need an image of a specific partition, you can handily clone it anytime into a USB or another hard drive. So let's do dd. This time the if file will be home xf4 slackboot.image. So that's the file on our hard drive. And the out file will be slash dev slash sdb. So essentially we're just reverting the in file and out file. And I'm going to do a status equal progress as well. Now let's run it. And let's give it some time to do its thing. Once it's done, we're going to test it out. There we go. We finished cloning the USB from the Slack boot image. So you can see it already popped up here as USB Slack, which is the exact same label as the other USB. Now all we have to do is reboot the system and test it out by the way if you were to clone a hard drive or any type of file system or usb 
you would use the exact same procedure you can also clone specific partitions as well if you guys like to see that let me know in the comments and I'll get it done in the next video for you yeah let's reboot the system and test it out okay let me select the USB here from the boot options this is the one and looks like it's going smooth for now load of the kernel and that's it we're in so that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time